This cactus collection was worth more than $1.2 million. It was also illegal and seized by the Italian police. And poaching cactuses is having a really harmful effect on ecosystems. Illegally poached plants can go for hundreds or even thousands of dollars on the international black market. This demand leads to people over harvesting the wild plants, which destabilizes the ecosystems and can drive some species towards extinction. Some examples, in 2021, a trio of men were prosecuted for trying to sell $150,000 worth of rare Dudleya succulent plants they had taken from California state parks. And in 2020, Italian police confiscated a collection of succulents valued at more than $1.2 million. This under-discussed form of poaching can harm the plant's native ecosystems and the biodiversity of the species themselves. Some cacti take decades or even hundreds of years to reach maturity, and they also reproduce slowly. They're also highly localized to specific ecosystems and are already struggling with habitat loss due to human activity. Of almost 1,500 cactus species evaluated, more than 30% are threatened with extinction. And while these plants are hardy, which is one of the reasons why they're such an easy target for poachers, officials have found it difficult to successfully return the plants to the wild. So even if the end goal is to return them to their natural habitat, many are sent to botanical gardens or nurseries to live out the rest of their lives. Some conservationists say that the best way to stop this from happening is to legally breed and propagate the plants to lower the species value. So how do you make sure that your little succulent hasn't been poached? Well, buy it from a reputable source and ask where they got it from. If a seller is boasting about selling a rare specimen, they should be able to prove its origins. If it was grown in a nursery and isn't super rare, chances are it's legal. 